everyone, welcome back to the channel where I post every Monday and Thursday. Today we're going to check out how to make this amazing glass morphism parallax effect in Figma. You can even replicate the same process in XD and Sketch. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. Now this video was inspired by a graphic or this animation here by Chads. I thought this looked really cool and really seemed to portray how glass morphism and parallax effect can be put together. So the first step in the process would of course be to start off with a new artboard in Figma. I click on A on the keyboard and on the right I have various options. I will click on desktop and I'll select the largest one here which is this one on top. Of course in this case I want a full HD screen so it'll be 1920 by 1080 in this case. I also give a dark background. You can give a dark charcoal grey or something like that but I have this really deep blue saved here. In the background I want to have a phone. I'll create a rectangle to kind of replicate the phone. Also, I want to give this a border radius. So about uh, 56, we'll start off with that. Yeah, I think this is fine enough for now. Now for this particular project, I've used this very interesting project on Behance as a background. I really like this one on the left, in the middle, and even on the right, because this is more towards the darker perspective. So there's less glare as well. I will be linking this particular project. So go check it out and make sure you don't use it in any commercial projects or anything like that. I'm going to right click, copy the image, go back to Figma, click on the rectangle here and say Command V or Control V to paste it. And Figma does the needful for us. The next step is to actually create the card. I'm going to quickly hit the R key on the keyboard and then create a basic rectangle here. If you want to be super accurate, you can always take a reference of a real credit or debit card. I'm just going to make sure that it's 32 pixels from the left and 32 pixels from the right. That's the how I'm measuring the width here. I'm going to give this a border radius. So on the right, I'm going to change the border radius value to something like 32. Uh, this seems fine for a credit or debit card. I will also be giving this a basic gradient to start off with. I will change the color from solid to linear gradient. I'll be giving this a pure white gradient. So no other color for now. You can experiment with different colors to give it a different color card. Drag these values from left to right just so that I have the right fit. Don't worry about the opacity right now. The next thing that I want to do is give this a texture. You want that real glossy glass texture on this. For that, I simply go to Google and I say frosted glass texture. That's it. And I go to images, Google images, and I pick up one of these. As you can see, there's this frosted texture here. I would prefer one which has very little color in the background. I personally like this one right here. To add this image as a texture, I will click on this plus icon right next to fill. And this adds another value here. I change the topmost value from linear to image. Now I'll right click on this frosted glass image and say save image as since it won't paste directly. I'll save it to my downloads. I'll go back to Figma. Just maybe drag or drop this into this image panel right here. And there you go, you have this frosted glass image here. Of course, I will reduce the opacity right next to this image. There is this opacity value. I change it to something as low as 20% for now. And the linear gradient here, I'll change to something like 50% for now. Now I need to add some edge lighting here so it seems like it's glass or something solid. I'll quickly click on stroke to give it an effect that there is light here. I will give this stroke a linear gradient as well. That's the speciality of using something like Figma that you can change or edit any stroke, any image, any color that you want in any way. So I have just a glare on the top left since the light is supposed to be coming from the top left in this case. I can add more but for now I'll just keep it like that. Simple because in the end result we'll have something which is which looks much much better as well. Now comes the blur part. So what we do for Figma we will click on this effect on the right here and as you can see it adds a drop shadow. We change this drop shadow from drop shadow to background blur, it's as simple as that. And I add the value, so I'll change it to something like 50. Ah, this is blur enough. Now this looks much, much closer. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, add my elements. Uh, in this case, it would be just a MasterCard logo, a Figma logo, and a number at the bottom. You can do whatever you like with this class here. As usual, I will be giving the Figma file in the description so you can follow along and it'll be much easier for you. This looks absolutely gorgeous and much better than I thought it'll come through. 
you can reduce the opacity according to your liking. I feel this much of blur is enough and nothing more is needed. Now comes to the fun part, the animation part. But this is also tricky, so you have to follow along carefully. Now to create the actual animation in this case, we will use a simple plugin. As you can see, I have a plugin named Anima. You can get this in the plugin store if you go back to the files and then you search for Anima in the community. So you just search Anima in the community tab here and under plugins, you will get the first result which looks exactly like this. Just install it and that's it. Simply go back to the document, click on this glass on the back, go to this menu bar on the top left, say, say plugins and then say Anima. Now under Anima, the first step that you need to do is say create new project. Before this, you'll get a login screen, just log in or register. Else you can just say create new. And in this case, I'm gonna name it glass morphism for sure. And I'll say create. Once I've created the project, glass morphism will come on top. Now inside this, I, I need you to go ahead and say embed code. Right next to it, you'll have this plus icon. Click on that plus icon. Under this, you need to put everything inside this web website block right here. Now I have made a Google document for all of you. I'll be sharing the link in the description as usual. And inside this, you just need to copy and paste for this case. I will explain what does what, but I won't go into detail. The first thing is to copy this style component, which is at top. This gives this card blur inside CSS. Now this is a style component that you can edit on your own. If you give this a little more value, this blur value here, 12.5 pixel, if you increase it, the blur will increase. If you decrease it, the blur will decrease. But for now, I'm just gonna blindly copy this style tag and I will put it inside here and nothing else I need to do unless I want to change the blur value. Now, the next step is to actually import some JS or JavaScript in this case. Don't worry, you don't need to understand this. This is essentially importing our frameworks, which is jQuery in this case, and the tilt function in this case. Paste it right here. Don't, no need to understand what does what right now. I'll go back one last time and have this last piece of code, which puts everything together. This is the actual JavaScript. You guys might be wondering, can't we do this just in Figma itself? Well, Figma does not have a lot of the features that this allows us to add to Figma or any other tool. So in this case, I'm gonna add the last piece of my JS to the website right below the code that we added earlier. Say Command V or Control V to copy and paste it. Now everything is done, but one last piece of the puzzle is missing. If I click on save, and I say preview in browser, it'll show you this loading tab at the bottom. At the end, you will get this option called your draft is ready and you just click on open. Now don't expect the animation to work in the first time because we have one last step remaining. See how none of the blur is added here and the animation itself doesn't work. So to finish up the animation, we'll right click anywhere here and whichever browser you're in, you can click on inspect or inspect element. I go to this little icon on the top right here. I click on it. This allows me to view anything on screen. And if I click on this rectangle, it will highlight the code right here. Now the code which is highlighted, I just need to double click here and I need to highlight this rectangle five, C6, whatever, whatever. This is the name of this card in code. So I'll say Command C or Control C to copy this name only. I go back to my Figma file. I click on edit right next to embed code. And wherever we have this weird rectangle three C six one written here, I replace it with the new value. So say command V or control V. Make sure you don't replace anything else. There's a dot right before here, which says it's a class. The same thing you need to be doing with everything else. Under the script, under the main script at the bottom, we have another value which says the same name. We just need to replace the name itself, nothing else. Oh, for the magical moment, if I click on open, the glass morphism card should be now complete. As you can see, the blur has been added, thank God. And if I hover over this, ah, this looks so amazing. This looks very similar to what we had earlier on that dribble shot that I showed in the beginning. This looks absolutely beautiful and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you have subscribed to the channel 
for videos every Monday and Thursday. And also make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Don't forget that. And I will see you next time, same place, same time. Till then, God bless.